D44 produce a whole range of bumpers, but what, what we're going to do with this, again, to meet your budget, we're going to fit the latest D44 Clubman bumper, okay. which, which, which will sit at the same height as this bumper, yeah. um, and obviously have the recess for the winch, and we're going to fit a t Tabor 12,000 pound winch, okay. which is effectively a worn winch, right. yep. in a slightly different colour. Taking this plug out just to basically allow me, because sometimes when these are rotten, the um, captive plate underneath will just drop straight out. But we'll see. Mm. Started to see, got like a little cage bit that clips onto the bumper. All right, yeah. So you ain't got to mess around trying to get in there. Okay. And they always rot. And usually you just get left with this. So right. sometimes you can have your finger in there or even up here, hold it in place, yep. putting a new one on. These are all still in good condition because they haven't actually narrowed or rotten away where they go through the bumper. Yep. So we use, either use these again or we can put new bolts in. Putting it on. That'll stop it falling off and hit me on the head. First of all, we put the fair lead on, okay, because you can access the bolts easier. You just need to make sure that the fair lead is square with the bumper, all right? Put your cables to the battery, not earth them to the chassis, or right. take a positive off your starter motor because you want good power, direct power to the winch. You don't want it earthing off a bumper yeah. or anything else. You see a lot of them come in, they earth it to the bumper, which is, you're not getting the most out of your winch. You've got the hole there, you've got the square, it sits in, and then you've got your bolt, which obviously goes up through the bumper, into it. We have one with a cap that goes on it, which locks it over, same as a locking wheel nut with on the car. Um, so if your vehicle is out and all the elements, you don't have to worry about somebody stealing your winch off your motor. F1, F2 and A. Right, I'm gonna mount the contactor and also we're gonna then run the cabling into your battery box for your battery. These are basically just electrical boots to yep. cover up all the wiring for it, okay? That wire there goes yep. onto your earth. Okay. So that one there will go onto the same wire as we have already underneath, right. and this earth, this out. So we start with the farthest one, which is the green one. No washer then? No, no washers with these, but you can put washers if you <laughs> see the need. Put a color on the wire. Right. Just green, different. green, blue to blue, yep. and you also got F1 to F1. F2 to F2, stamp actually in the casing as well. Right. So after a couple of months when the paint's all worn off, off yep. the actual end of the electrical bit, or the, this is bleached or gone, then you yep. can still visually see what it is. I'm holding on to the wire here, because yep. otherwise this goes down inside into the motor, yep. pieces under here. And you could, if you were an animal, you could actually tear it around and snap all the connections okay. with it. Yeah, that's the. Nice and tight. Yep. Tight as a glove. <laughs> nice and neat. Okay. Just feeding it in around the radiator piece and across your cross member. You could use insulation tape here, or you could, um, like, I'm just going to use a wire tie just to take up the. Keep it together. This is the isolator itself. Basically, that's just almost just a big switch. So without this, it allows the power to go through. Mm -hmm. um, with this, you're actually cutting the power, stopping the power going from one to the other. All right. So and then you you cut out so you can reach in from your side. Yep. Kill the winch. And then. The easiest way now is if you hold it from this side, like so, yep. 
Yeah. You can mark your holes from this side with ease, mm -hmm. and then you just re replace it back into the opposite side and bolt it in place. Yeah, normally you just go along, along the top of the chassis and straight in, but on this one, we'll keep the loom up high just to keep it away from the manifolds. If you've got the, like, the wiring loom and everything running along like, the tops of the chassis, it's pretty much protected from anything like trees or branches or anything while you're off-roading as well. Then what we have is we've got the short extension um, battery wire, which you go to this to power this. Yep. Okay, and then you get your winch wire from the opposite side out. Because without this, it would just be a straight wire to your winch. Got this you. is just interrupting the actual wiring circuit. So yeah, you free spawn it out so you can get the hook on. Otherwise, you'd have to power it out and that would get messy with your fingers in there. So now we can get our hook, hook on. You've just got a split pin that stops the pin okay. coming in. So once it's on, split pin in. Okay. Normal split pin, then you bend it over and cut the tag because of these. I usually bend them over like this and then if you had to take the hook off, you can use the split pin again if need be. Okay. It's not like on a track rod where you lock it through, cut it off. Yeah. Because when you put a new one on, you put a new split pin on this way. If you have to take it off for any reason, you're not stuck in the middle of nowhere with a yeah, no sure. use of split pin. Mm. What we'll do is we'll um, spool it all off and then we'll, uh, with the weight on it, spool it back on. Because otherwise, if you don't, yeah. Because otherwise, also, if you don't, when you go to use it, it will actually all move. And you, the easiest thing to do is tear the actual eye puts the actual rope onto the drum, okay. tear that eye straight out. Right. Okay. It's important now when you're winching it in, like we were saying earlier, it's a slow winch, you've got plenty of time to react. It doesn't mean that you still can't be bitten by it. Okay. So now, holding it, pulling it in, to get into this part here, okay, keep yep. your hand away from the belly, 